my name is Charles Darwin, and I will be discussing with you the evolution of humans themselves. As you all know, it started out with the Big Bang, boom, life, planets, everywhere, everywhere, planets to see for galaxies and galaxies and galaxies and galaxies. And all of that, we have one planet perfect for life that we know of now, which is Earth. Although everybody disagrees with me, I believe humans were formed from particles of matter, such as rocks and dirt and dust, and and that's about it. Here's the beginning. It started with our atmosphere forming and particles of rock dropping into the atmosphere as it touched the oceans. The oceans then transform the rock somehow that nobody knows into bacteria and from that bacteria there became an amoeba and the amoeba we then turned into kelp. This is in our process of becoming humans. We were once dirt, rocks, amoebas, kelp. Stay with me. The kelp kept continually growing and dying and growing and dying. Eventually the kelp developed gills and transformed into a fish. From that fish we eventually came to a sperm whale. From that whale came a jellyfish. And from that special jellyfish were mermaids. Yes, we almost had it correct. Oh, my theorem shows that mermaids actually existed. I have a fossil of mermaids in my bedroom showing that they once existed and everybody else is wrong but me. Anyway, the mermaid transformed back into a fish because we realized, okay, this is wrong. Humans do not want to live underwater. The fish grew back legs and tried to crawl onto land. Although this wasn't too intelligent of the fish, due to the fact that fish have gills, and as it tried to breathe the oxygen, it died over and over and over again, until the beach was filled with feet and carcasses of fish. And the fish were tired of dying, so they decided to grow lungs. Somehow. It's called evolution. And then, after a while, the fish with lungs and legs decided to turn into an antelope. We have the antelope on the sub on the plains of Africa showing what we used to look like. You can see the resemblance. Soon the antelope decided it was time to have thumbs and turned into a furry gorilla. The gorilla moved north in Africa all the way to Asia and then the gorilla turned into the Sasquatch during the Ice Age, the Sasquatch traveled to North America, and we are still trying to figure out where the fossils are today. Then the Sasquatch turns into humans, and humans migrated everywhere. Humans inhabiting the entire planet, polluting everything, ruining the world. Except for me, because I am correct about everything I speak of. Ten thousand years from now, it, according to my theorems, we will likely return back to a simple piece of kelp after the post-apocalyptic war. And after we turn into the piece of kelp, we shall all have realized in our tiny kelp-like minds that it was stupid for us to ever have evolved from the simple stage of kelp, because kelp has nothing that hurts the environment. So there were no reasons for us to be made like that in the first place. Thank you for this report. My name is Charles Darwin.